brutal barracuda, a sniper elite channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I've recently been playing through Sniper Elite 3 again over on Twitch, and it's still a great game which I enjoy a lot. But I think we can all agree Sniper Elite 4 is a far better game. But with that being said, there are a few things that in my opinion Sniper Elite 3 does better than Sniper Elite 4, and I'm here to tell you about five of them right now. So here are five things Sniper Elite 3 does better than Sniper Elite 4, which I hope to see in Sniper Elite 5. First up, and in no particular order, we have vehicle kill cams. Now, we do get vehicle kill cams in Sniper Elite 4, but I'm of the opinion that they were vastly superior in Sniper Elite 3 because of the inclusion of the mechanical X-ray, which was not implemented in Sniper Elite 4. There is a certain amount of X-ray on the vehicle kills in Sniper Elite 4 when shooting the driver or the gunner, but it's the mechanical X-ray that is missing. Seeing the innards of the vehicle as the bullet bounces around the engine or ignites the fuel tank was a great addition to the kill cam in Sniper Elite 3. So why then was it left out of Sniper Elite 4? The most likely reason I can think is because they were probably going for more realism, which makes sense. But I am a sucker for the kill cams in Sniper Elite and I love the addition of the mechanical x-rays. Now this isn't a huge improvement over Sniper Elite 4, I admit. But it's a feature that I did enjoy and would love to see return in Sniper Elite 5. Next up, vehicles. Now, Sniper Elite 4 has several different armoured vehicles in the game, including the Italian AB-41, a German half-track, and an armoured car. But of all the vehicles in Sniper Elite 4, it only includes one type of tank, the Panzer III. Every single tank we see in Sniper Elite 4, including the DLC, is a Panzer III. In Sniper Elite 3, we get half-tracks and armoured cars, but we also get tanks. Not only the Panzer III, but we get the Panzer IV, and we even got a Tiger tank. Now historically, I'm unsure what the situation was regarding German tanks in Italy during 1943, but what I do know is, I love a good tank, and enjoyed playing against them in Sniper Elite 3. Hopefully going forward, we'll get to see more tanks in the future, especially the Tiger! Next up, we have the Sniper Glint. Now I've mentioned this before in a different video, but I'm gonna mention it again because I truly believe that Sniper Elite 3 handles this better than Sniper Elite 4. So in Sniper Elite 4, when an enemy sniper is looking in your general direction, not even directly at you, it's as if he has a torch mounted on the top of his rifle, giving away his position instantly. Snipers, by their very nature, should be well hidden, and finding them should take much more work than it currently does in Sniper Elite 4. I much prefer the way Sniper Elite 3 handles the scope glint, with very occasional glints that flash just for a split second and stop letting you know there is a sniper about but not constantly giving away their exact position like Sniper Elite 4. There is no doubt in my mind that Sniper Elite 3 handles the glint so much better and I hope that if Sniper Elite 5 doesn't go to the extreme and calculate the light source, the angle of the scope and all the rest of it to give a real representation of scope glint then I hope they revert back to the Sniper Elite 3 version which in my opinion is far more superior. Next, I want to talk about the crew inside the vehicles. In Sniper Elite 3, after disabling certain vehicles, the rest of the crew would exit the vehicle and come after you. In Sniper Elite 4, even though the Panzer 3 has a crew of 5 men, once you take out the driver and the gunner, the others just sit there until you blow them up. In Sniper Elite 3, when fighting the Tiger tank, once you've disabled the tank, all five crew members leave the tank and begin attacking you. Now as far as I can tell, this doesn't happen with the Panzer III or the Panzer IV, but it does happen with the half track. If you take out the driver, the rest of the crew will disembark and come after you. Now this was a great feature in Sniper Elite 3 and it's a shame that it wasn't improved upon for Sniper Elite 4. Rebellion instead, for whatever reason, opted to not include this feature. I truly hope, though, that this feature returns in Sniper Elite 5. 
Finally, we move on to the weapon upgrade system, which in my opinion, the way Sniper Elite 4 handles it, is a huge step down from Sniper Elite 3. In Sniper Elite 4, we have multiple challenges for each rifle. Every time a challenge is complete, then a certain stat of the rifle will increase. Take for example the Kakano. If you get 50 kills under 20 meters, then the muzzle velocity will improve. Now this is all fine and dandy, but there is a slight problem. Many people like to play on Authentic, or Authentic Plus, and if we do that, then any of the weapon upgrades that have been unlocked are disabled. So take me for example, I only play on the hardest difficulty, so in the four years I've been playing this game, I have never once benefited from the rifle upgrade system. But, if we look at the way Sniper Elite 3 did the weapon upgrades, then I think you will agree that this is far more enjoyable. Not only do the weapon upgrades work on the hardest difficulty, so players like myself don't miss out on the entire weapon upgrade system, but you could customise your rifle by equipping new parts found by searching dead bodies. Maybe you will find a better scope that increases zoom but worse than scope wobble, or maybe a new stock that reduces scope wobble but increases recoil. This way you could customise your weapon to how you wanted. By having pros and cons to the different upgrades, you had to think carefully about how best to customise your rifle. Now, to be fair, in Sniper Elite 4 you could upgrade your secondaries and your sidearms, which you couldn't do in Sniper Elite 3. But even with this in mind, I still much prefer hunting around the maps and actually having to find the parts to customise my rifles. Here's hoping that in Sniper Elite 5, they give us something more akin to Sniper Elite 3's upgrade system, with the added benefit of being able to find parts to customise our secondaries and sidearms as well. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree that Sniper Elite 3 did these things better than Sniper Elite 4. Or maybe you think Sniper Elite 3 did other things better. Be sure to let me know in the comments. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really does help my channel to grow. This is a dedicated Sniper Elite channel, so hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date on all things Sniper Elite. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Brutal Barracuda, a Sniper Elite channel.